All right, folks, here we go. Cat Monkey Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors, and I'm just trying to show you real quick how we take care of these birds we kill. People ask me in a couple emails, uh, what do we do with the birds? And I just want to make sure they know that we eat our birds and we kill them. All right, so what I have here is a bowl full of uh, fillets and breasts, and we just kind of have the cold water running on it, and I'm just mixing them around so all the feathers separate from the the uh, breast and you'll see that they come to the top and they float up there then what you do is you turn the water back on and it kind of does the old volcano technique on it, it kind of drops all the uh all the bad feathers and just the coagulated blood will come float to the top and kind of just float off the top and what happens basically is they come out perfectly clean like this and that's what we're trying to accomplish here we got uh, goose fillet coming out this is a big goose fillet it's clean as a whistle no uh, feathers on it goose fillet out big goose fillet and we'll follow up with a couple of buffalo head fillets i'm going to take those buffalo head fillets now and we're going to stick them all in the crock pot i'm sure every house in uh, america has one of these things and uh, next ingredient we're going to need is just beer, all right? Any beer you'd like. This is an omegang, oh whatever the heck you want to call it. And we're going to put one beer in the crock pot with all these buffalo head uh, fillets. And we're also going to need the secret ingredient, which is very secret. It's uh, the Weber or any kind of barbecue sauce that you have. And this has molasses in it. So we're going to take that and we're going to pour that whole bottle of molasses barbecue sauce in the crock pot. And that's gonna uh, that's gonna be it for the ingredients. We're not gonna put any salt, pepper, anything else like that. This is kind of simulating a pulled pork sandwich. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. So you're gonna leave that in there, and then what we'll do is we'll throw a couple of the uh, goose fillets in there, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, let those cook. We're gonna let that cook for 12 hours, but we're gonna keep it on high for eight hours. And then we're gonna turn it down to low for the last four hours. Okay, through the miracle of film right now, watch this. Booyah! She's done. All right, so uh, basically what we're doing now is we're going to just take that piece of uh, goose breast and we're going to pull it apart like you do a pulled pork. All right, so just grab it, pull it apart, and uh, just make these strands of, it almost look like beef, if you will. And uh, we're just going to take that stuff now, put it in the uh, Pyrex bowl, and then what we'll do is we'll skim off the top of the... Uh, of the sauce, all right? This is where you can be looking for shot in your uh, food. If there's any bullets or shot in the food, just take them out right at this point. And what we'll do is we'll skim the top of it so we know that there's no shot in the sauce because obviously, if you guys ever watch Gold Fever, the uh, shot will go to the bottom of the uh, sluice way. How you doing? All right? So uh, you know that you have all clean food here. You have all, uh, there's no shot in it. And what I do now is I'll take this stuff, I'll cover it, I'll put it in the uh, fridge overnight. All right, next day, you pull that baby out of the fridge, and you can put it in the skillet. What you want to do is just cook it until all that, that fluid kind of dries up. And, of course, go out and buy some Martin's uh, potato rolls, all right? You can't beat those bad boys, all right? So that's it right there. Martin's potato roll on a plate. You're going to take that stuff now. You're going to take the uh, goose, and you can just put it on there. You know, put a liberal amount on there. And then what we'll do is we're going to take a little bit of our homemade coleslaw secret ingredient right there. Put it right on top of the sandwich, and that is it, man. Just get it ready for the next and serve them just like it is. You got the hot and your cold, and it works like cherry vanilla, all right? Basically, what you see right here now is folding up is a masterpiece, all right? Now the taste test. Oh, my God, horrible. What? I'm just getting what you think. Perfect, all right? Don't let the goose go to waste. Watch Kid Coach Cheeks outdoors, and don't forget, brush your head and shake it easy. Hey folks, Cat Mark. I just want to take a second to thank you guys for watching. Closing in on 40,000 views every 28 days. It's probably even double that because YouTube doesn't keep up. And uh, I'm trying to get back to you guys best I can with the emails. Keep them coming, and I'll do my best to keep up with you and put these videos out. All right, everybody, don't forget. Shake it ease. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, all right? Shake it ease. Stay tuned.